It takes more than doctors, nurses, and surgical facilities to operate a medical center. Sometimes it also takes the generosity of wealthy benefactors to help a hospital thrive and innovate, remain competitive, and save lives. And in mid-September, that generosity is exactly what Hogue Hospital in Orange County's Newport Beach got. We are so excited and grateful for the $106 million from the estate of Audrey Steele Bernand. With their family's combined giving, it has reached over $134 million. This is the largest gift in Hoag's history. We are extreme, extremely grateful to that family and what it's going to provide for the future. Dana Grant, Senior Vice President, Advancement, Hoag Hospital Foundation, said such a large donation left a deep impression on her. I felt extremely proud, professionally and personally. This gift, what it's going to do for health care in Orange County is tremendous. And I'm excited to be a part of it and excited that Hoag is able to use those monies to benefit all that need it. Though their benefactor, Audrey Steele Bernan, passed away in 2020, she and her family had been donating to health centers ever since the 1960s. Grant said the money will be put to good use. Hogue Hospital Newport will benefit from this gift, but not only, it will be shared across the entire health system to ensure that we're bringing the quality care to all the communities that we serve. And according to Grant, that quality care is top of the line. We are a world-class institute, and we have patients coming from across the globe. We cover a very comprehensive array of services, all that we know our community needs. That community goes from Lake Forest to Irvine, Fountain Valley to Laguna Beach. In total, Hoag has three hospitals, 15 urgent cares, and 10 health and wellness centers in Orange County. And with all that coverage, they offer something special. We don't turn anyone away here at Hoag. Underinsured, uninsured, low income. We're a faith-based organization, and we're here for the community. And philanthropy really does allow that to happen. To provide service in that way, Hogue relies on donations for funding. While it isn't 100% reliant, Grant says the hospital is very dependent on philanthropic support, and that support is what keeps Hogue growing and thriving. Philanthropy comes in many different forms to the foundation. We may be writing proposals. We have grateful patients that reach out. The goal of the foundation is to match our donors' passion with the mission of the hospital. She says Hogue is very appreciative of all who've helped them become an award-winning medical provider. Grant wanted to extend her thanks to people who made them so successful. I just would like to share a message of gratitude. A gratitude to the community, to our donors, to the patients that we serve. And I know the hospital leadership would say the same. We are grateful. We don't do this alone. It is a community hospital and we're here for the community. Since opening their doors here in Orange County in 1952, Hogue Hospital has come a long way. Today they have 7,000 employees, 2,000 volunteers, and each year they treat close to a half a million patients. Bill Thomas, NTD News, California.